My husband, we will call him Greg, and I have been married for six years and together for eight. My husband was previously married to a woman we will call Joanna and had three children. We have since also had a child of our own. Joanna has worked hard to make sure there isn't room for me as a co-parent and wants the children to see me as more of a babysitter than a stepmother. She has also made sure to ruin special moments I've attempted to have with the kids. For example, we bought them skates for Christmas and planned to take them ice skating for the first time the following Saturday. She found out and took Friday off to bring them first. Never once in their lives had she taken them, but she was quick to do when she realized I wanted to do something special with them. The biggest problem. Joanna had a hard time letting go of her past with Greg. He did not have an amicable split with her and talks to her only when necessary for the kids. After their divorce, she did not see her place in Greg's family change, which has continued into our marriage. She would regularly show up at events for his side of the family when I began attending them and could not understand why it would make me uncomfortable. The relatives she used to keep at arm's length suddenly became her closest friends, only after their divorce. In fact, her sister-in-law, she couldn't stand, became her sister. She suddenly would be at their homes when she knew I would be going. Greg's family doesn't have the heart to send her away or ask her to leave. I wish they would. I have built genuine relationships with them, but I still feel betrayed when I'm eating brownies only to find out she just happened to drop them off at their home before I arrived. She helplessly calls his family members, crying, to fix simple things around her house because she doesn't have a husband anymore. Greg has tried multiple times to talk to her and told her the impact she was having on our relationship and the relationship I have with his family members. She has flat out refused to distance herself. I could sympathize at first, but eight years later. I found out tonight that she has invited herself to the next family get-together, and I snapped. My husband will not talk to her about this again and has given up trying to reason with his family. I told him I will never truly be part of his family if she never goes away. I am at the end of my rope and I am exhausted dealing with childish behavior. I told him I will no longer attend his family events until she is not part of them. Greg says it's not fair to put him in the middle of this. He doesn't want to make waves, so I need to accept it and move on. We are at a stalemate. So am I the a-hole for wanting her out of his family gatherings? Edit. She is never invited to gatherings. She comes over and no one knows what to say. I have never said they cannot be cordial or friendly with her. They absolutely should. Several comments indicate that I can't tell people who they can have over. I have never told them they are not allowed to have her over. Second edit. The question has been raised several times how she knows about the events. We encourage the kids to keep in contact with her when they are with us. We know how hard it is when we are missing them, and we want her to still be able to communicate with them. Typically, she will show up after they speak with her, or if she sees a social media post. Also, taking them ice skating was not an attempt to undermine her. My husband is their father. They enjoyed watching the Mighty Ducks together, and he wanted to take them skating after seeing their excitement. I don't think it's a bad thing that their dad wanted to experience this. Her oldest son was about to graduate high school, so there was plenty of time to ice skate prior to this. We live in a state with lakes everywhere. The difficulty seems to be that your in-laws and his ex have a relationship that they aren't interested in abandoning. You didn't mention his kids' ages, but possibly the grandparents want to remain on good terms with her for their sake, or they really do like her. Not the a-hole. But if you choose not to attend family gatherings, it's like you're drinking the Kool-Aid but expecting it to K her. All this decision will do is hurt your own marriage and your relationship with his family. This sums it up perfectly. Don't let her win. She's been hoping you would take a stance like this so she can swoop in and insist she is better for your husband than you. A wise woman once said, No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Eleanor Roosevelt if you feel threatened, you have given her that power over you. Take it back. It sounds like his family pities her. Reread your post. She sounds so pathetic. Good people hate making the pitiful feel even worse. You have everything she wants. Her own kids probably go home talking about how fun and awesome you are, so she feels threatened. I'm not saying you have to be friends with her, 
But it isn't worth being bitter and letting her push you out of family gatherings. You should try a little reverse psychology. Stop fighting or getting bent out of shape because she's there. She's getting off on making you miserable. If you really want her to stop, start inviting her to take part. Gush over her brownies and ask her to make more, stuff like that. She will get bored and go away. I know I'm going to get a lot of crap for the absurd age gap and the way we started. And I agree and I deserve it, but I would really like some genuine advice past going to counseling. She won't agree and I can't afford it anyways. Tangible things that I can work on and introduce to help us to get past this either as a couple or as effective co-parents. Long story short, my ex-wife and I were together since middle school. We have four daughters in their teens. I was a stay-at-home dad and part-time worker for most of my life until my youngest was in middle school. My ex agreed to invest in a passion project business of mine. I hired a receptionist. We started an affair and she baby-trapped me. Now we're living together and have a young son. She resents me because she feels she was fooled. She saw me as a business owner who had a nice car, nice clothes, took her to nice places, etc. She thought I was rich, so she got pregnant on purpose, admitted it, not as an assumption, hoping to use me not to work and sponsor her family from overseas. Well, actually, my wife and her family are the rich ones. None of our homes were in our names. We were renting from her parents and giving them a nominal fee with the expectation that these homes would be left to my ex and me after their death. This allowed my ex's salary, 150K, not huge in the high COL area, to stretch and we lived a really good life. I left our marriage with half our savings, 25K, and my personal property and car. I lost my business due to lack of funding and I did not seek alimony. I resent her because I feel I was fooled. I thought she loved me and couldn't believe the interest a young, hot woman showed in me. She was incredibly persistent and pursued me strongly. But she had no feelings for me, no care or desire. Now that the ruse is dropped, I can't believe I gave up my entire life for what I see was an ego trip. I loved my ex-wife, really I did, and still do. But I had never been with another woman, and any attempts to open our relationship were shot down. This was like a wet dream come true, and I was weak. Now, both me and my girlfriend are in a place we didn't imagine. She's living in a crappy apartment with an old man and still has to work. I've lost my kids, the love of my life, my family, my lifestyle, my business, and it's all 100% my own fault. She stopped being intimate with me as soon as she found out I wasn't rich. We're still together on my end because I feel I need to have something to show for this crap show of a situation. At least I got a son and a partner out of it. At least it wasn't for nothing. And also because I don't trust her with our son. She would never agree to give me full custody and she's not a good mother. I would be worried for his safety and the people she would have him around. I honestly don't know why she hasn't left me from her end. What can I do to improve this situation? I know logically I would be best to break up and co-parent, but I'm afraid for my son and I'm embarrassed for myself. Is there a way to salvage this situation? I'm thinking of telling her we can just have an open relationship. She can sleep with whoever she wants and go wherever she wants as long as she lives here so I can have my son 100% of the time. I work from home. I don't know if that's the answer here though. Yikes, what a S show. It sounds like karma came knocking on both of your doors. It's almost poetic that greed is what took everything away from both of you. Both of you are adults that are having to live with the consequences of your decisions. I'm just sorry that so many people, your kids and ex-wife, have to suffer along with you. Yep, even now he's shifting the blame to his ex for not allowing an open relationship. OP, you should have just accepted it and shut up. You should have seen that your ex had something special. But instead, you screwed somebody else and ducked your entire life up. Your ex and kids probably think you've always wanted to cheat and never loved them because you kept asking for an open relationship. What the duck was wrong with you? You gotta take accountability for everything. Look how great that curiosity ended up for you. You could have easily not pursued it because your wife was not okay with it 
and it would hurt your wife and break apart your family. You could, but you didn't want to. You knew this could end up like this, but you just didn't care. Relationships take compromise. You wanted to experiment with others. That's fine, but your wife didn't want you to. You should have accepted that. Your family should have been more important to you than your fantasy. Instead, you kept pestering her, and even after she made it clear she didn't want you to, you ducked the first woman that gave you attention. Look how well that worked out for you. Your daughters and ex are probably even more pissed off because you used your ex's money to hire your girlfriend and have an affair and son with her. Best thing is to just break up with her, get a custody arrangement, and take care of your son. There's absolutely no way your daughters will even think about having a relationship with you as long as you're in a relationship with your girlfriend. Your son also doesn't deserve to live in that environment. Actions have consequences. A 42-year-old man should have known that. Hope all the pain you've caused to others was worth the life you have now. Update 1. I had an affair. My ex-wife divorced me and my kids absolutely refused to speak to me. I was an incredibly involved dad. Most of their lives, most of their lives, I worked one to two days a week and then stayed home with them the rest. I was closer to them than their mom, and I'd like to think I've never disappointed them before this. I made a mistake. It's been over two years since it all came out, and I haven't been able to make any headway. My eldest is hung up on the fact that I now have a young son. Every firstborn of each generation in my family has been a boy for a long time, and she broke that streak. I honestly could not care less about that. I've always thought that pressure was stupid, and I'm not a traditionally masculine guy that always wanted a boy. But she is so hurt that I have a son, and is convinced that's all I've ever wanted, and he's replaced her and my daughters. None of that is true. All of my girls said they don't consider themselves to have a brother and want nothing to do with him. All four of them feel betrayed and blame me for breaking up our family. I deserve the blame. It's my fault and I take responsibility. But I can't change the past and I don't know how to begin making up for it. My ex has full custody of them, but I'm supposed to take visitation one weekend a month. They're all in therapy and it was suggested to not enforce the visitation and respect their boundaries while they work through it. I've done that the entire time and there's no progress made. Does anyone have any suggestions about what I can do here? My ex absolutely hates me, but was always supportive of the girl staying in contact with me. She's respected their wishes, but still gives me updates once in a while. My eldest is turning 18 soon and graduating this coming year and probably moving away for university. I feel like the time to make up with her especially is slipping away. I know I'm the crappy person here. I was a terrible husband, but I was honestly a really good dad, and I miss my girls. Has anyone been through something like this? How did it turn out? What are your suggestions? Update 2. Good news. My girlfriend and I have broken up. She has gone back to her home country and left my son with me. Refused to sign any formal custody agreement, so I'm hoping she stays there and doesn't bother us again. I'm pretty sure if she comes back and demands time with him, I have a good case for maintaining custody. She's not even interested in FaceTiming with him, so he remembers her. I feel bad that my son will deal with a crappy, absent mother, but I hope I can get him into therapy as he grows. Bad news. I've tried my best to insist on visitation with my daughters, and that has fallen through. They absolutely refuse to see me. They wrote me a letter together that says how much they hate me, how betrayed they feel, how they'll never forgive me, and how my son will never be their brother. To not even bother telling him about them because they'll never be interested in knowing him. Just forget about them altogether and move on with my new family. I have no legal recourse. The youngest is now 13, old enough to have a say in custody arrangements and I don't think forcing them to see me would do me any favors long-term anyways. They also included pictures of their mother's wedding. My ex has no obligation to tell me about her personal life, but I'm pretty pissed that there's a man living with my daughters that I didn't know about. It is a family friend that has been in their lives 10 plus years, so not a total stranger, but still hurt to see pictures of their recent wedding and family pictures with my daughters. 
They mention that they have a father figure and don't need me anyways. The whole thing really hurt. I know I have no right to feel hurt that my ex has moved on when I cheated on her. But their whole relationship has moved very fast, so I'm now wondering if they started it before we got divorced. No way to know now. Doesn't matter anyways. My ex agreed to keep me up to date and send pictures of my daughters once in a while. After dealing with my son's mom, I'm grateful she is so good to our girls and I don't have to worry about their well-being. I'm trying to focus on being a good dad to my son and patiently waiting for my girls to grow up and reach out. It may never happen, but I'm hopeful that they will understand me more as they become adults and gain context for life. What I find interesting that I haven't seen anyone point out is how his secretary thought he was rich and everything was his. It means either she's so dumb she didn't think to check who was the breadwinner, despite this dude just starting a business and only hiring her and not ever having other employees, or dude lied or implied crap was his to make himself look cooler in her eyes and it backfired. Or OP is such an idiot that after at least 16 years at the time of the affair, he was just so used to his life. I mean, there is just so much the OP is a dummy over that this is least surprising. I almost want to bet $5 that he never even thought to ask about birth control on her part. He was too busy living out whatever cream pie fantasy he built up in his head that he felt his ex had denied him.